All right, here's 78 Opeachy. Seven. Johnny Five uses $100 bills for napkins. If you didn't know that, Charles G, now you know. Apparently, Harper's a nice guy. Um, but, you know, this is based on uh, experience one of my uh, friends had many years ago in the uh, when he was in high school at the Aflac All-American Games. Apparently, he's a real nice kid. Brother says Harper signs a lot of autographs for kids. Huh. There was a terrible article in the Post by Phil Mushnick, Ugh. who is really one of the worst writers on oh, the planet. He's terrible. He's just, and he was complaining about Aaron Judge and the $2,500 that he's getting. Well, he's not getting, it's actually Fanatics. Yeah. He's getting for that meet and greet. Right. And he brought out the old Derek Jeter with Steiner meet and greet. If you don't understand the, the memorabilia business, you wouldn't understand why, these, why people pay these obscene amounts of money just to meet their favorite player and to sit in one of these events. Uh, there's just a whole market for that. And you can't blame the people who buy it. And you can't blame the people who sell it. And you can't blame the player because they just signed a contract with the promoter. Promoter sets their prices. Right. So, of course, it's people who don't understand and preach ignorance. And then that's what that's why people end up getting uh, angry at, 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 uh, at those guys or girls that uh, partake. And Phil Mish just must have complained about everything. There's not a day that goes by where Phil Mushnick doesn't complain about something. All right. Spot one. <laughs> what are you laughing at there? Charles. Apparently he has uh, a Costco load of napkins he wants to unload. For well, you have to talk to Johnny Five about that. <laughs> Doug D. For Ken Maxey. Paul Moscow. Spot two. We got the 70 cell all ready to go. Awesome. What is it? You got it over here? Uh, I have. Nice. Bill Buckner. Spot three. Billy B. Ken Maxey, Pat Zachary. Met fans hate Pat Zachary. He's traded for Tom Seaver. Spot four. Jeff Burrows. He had 40 home runs once. 1977, 41-114, 271. Yep. He was a decent player for a number of years. Jeff Burroughs, thank you. At spot five for James Hector. Manuel, Carlton, victory leaders. Got Carlton, Dennis Leonard, Jim Palmer, Dave Goltz. Six for Manuel. Here's spot seven, Catfish Hunter. Guy, Catfish won 20 games, I want to say four or five times. Five times in a row. 1971 through 1975. Five years in a row. And the Yankees one year. Never quite achieved the success that he had with Oakland with the Yankees. Yeah, 23 and 14. Yeah. There's your checklist. Would you quickly Google that? Baseball reference. Nice. There you go. Lenny Randall. Spot nine. Real men. Real. Here's spot ten. Hall of Famer, Stretch McCovey. Not a bad way to close out the pack for Jim Ector. Apparently, Charles, you did. That's okay. We forgive you. All right, time for the 70 cello. Got everything here. Don't forget our $100 special, 20 and 100. This is the main event right now, guys. 70 cello, third series. If you guys were watching our...